guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your favorite boxes ambassador Zulji, and here to bring you some more sponsored boxy tactics content. Today we're going to be looking at how much you can earn as an asset owner in Voxy Tactics. Last week I did a video on how much you can earn as a renter, meaning that you start from zero, you come into this game, you rent some assets, and you play an extreme arena in order to generate Voxel token income. Today we're going to be looking at the flip side, who rents those assets out and how much you can own. So just to give you a little preface to this, the total that I have earned in rental income alone is 38,309 tokens in a little bit less than a year. Now, this is no small feat, okay? This took a considerable amount of investing. But the, the news is, the good news is, you don't have to own as much of stuff as I do, especially to get started. Meaning that once you plant a little seed, you can compound your efforts over time in order to grow your collection and make more and more and more every month. And it all it does is start with some good decisions. So I'm here to tell you that this journey is not easy and it's going to take some dedication. I can't give you a magic formula on how to win. And there is risk involved in every single purchase that you make in any ecosystem especially voxies because the markets can shift every day and there's a lot of stuff that isn't in our control so all you can do is pay attention make wise decisions execute those those decisions with as little risk as possible and do your due diligence to make sure that you're on top of it and that you aren't making any unnecessary risk so Without further ado, out of all the disclosures and all of that information, let's get started with the meat and potatoes of the strategy. So what you want to do is analyze the market and see exactly what is being rented. Okay. Now today we're in Undeep's tool. You're going to see me refer to this a lot in most of my videos. And it's because there's a lot of great information that you can use here as a sort of uh, like a, a playbook, okay? And, and being able to analyze the market to see what people are after. In other words, what items can you get to rent out in order to make voxel tokens? There's a lot of stuff in the Voxy Tactics items that will not rent out, that nobody wants, okay? And they're used for a variety of different things like to burn for upgrades and later on, all items will be worth something in aspect because you'll have to level up your voxies in order to use higher tiered items but for now any voxy can use any item as long as it works with its own class for instance a bard needs an instrument okay monks need monk gloves swords on the other hand can be used by multiple classes and it's important to know the difference and the dynamics of that by playing voxy tactics or doing your research in how the game works in order to know what's good so what i want to do is just break away and show you guys a little bit of general information on how you can figure out what might be saturated and what might not be saturated okay so even without knowing the meta there's a bunch of things that you can look into to make sure that you don't have or you don't buy anything that isn't being used so right now just as a genuine as a general rule weapons legendary weapons are pretty much the only weapons that are renting out there's a lot of epics that are being rented out, but they're all in the armor department, meaning that there's enough legendary weapons to go around for the current player base of the game that you don't really need to rent epic weapons, for instance. Now, armor pieces, when you think about it, you need head, gloves, chest, boots, accessories, offhand items, all that other stuff comes into play you can get much more out of it and it's a little bit more I, I guess you could say nuanced okay so for instance let's go to open C real quick and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about first thing we'll go is to voxies now this is the actual dolls even though we're not gonna be starting out by getting voxies to rent out we're gonna be starting out by getting items to rent out 
what you could do is look at the classes here okay so if you scroll down on the left pane there's a list of classes here now I'm gonna be blocking some of them but you'll notice really high up top is the squire okay now the squire has 1014 voxies in the voxy tactics universe okay so that's how many squires there are followed by 927 undead total followed by 877 robo followed by 601 white mages and so on and so forth so when you get down to something like the bard for instance there's 489 bards now if you were to buy a piece of equipment in hopes that you would be able to rent this out, supply and demand is a factor. If you buy an instrument, there's only potentially 469 voxies that can actually use that instrument. Versus if you were to buy a weapon that undead can use, you would have 927 possible customers for that rental item. So, in general, you want to make sure that you aren't buying an item that has a limited amount of customer base, okay? Unless that item is very, very sought after, okay? Or it's a meta item. But in general, as a rule of, as a th rule of thumb, in general, you want to buy something that is usable by the majority of voxies that are available and by popularity of the class for instance pirate is by far one of the most powerful classes in voxies and everybody wants to rent these things but if you scroll down on the list you'll see that there's only 113 in existence okay now this breaks down even further with rarity a lot of people don't use common voxies right now because they don't earn as much. They much rather use rare, epic, and legendary. And if you were to click on pirate and change the, the, the actual rarity to legendary and epic, you'll see here that you aren't looking at a whole bunch of voxies. These are all the pirates in existence that are epic and legendary. So if you rent a gun that is only usable by a few classes like pirates and rangers, for, in for instance, okay, it, it goes a little bit further than that. There's thieves and stuff too, but just to say your gun only has a very small limited customer base and you want to make sure that this is much much larger especially when you're getting into your first items because you want to guarantee their rental okay that's as much as i'm gonna harp on that just make sure now you can go into discord and see what items are actually used by what classes and what we'll do here i know i'm jumping around all over the place but what we'll do if you're not familiar with the ecosystem you're gonna have to get more and more familiar with this but if you go to the voxy tactics discord and you go into the faq the FAQ has a lot of great information about pets and all sorts of stuff, okay? So let's scroll up all the way until this top entry where uh, right underneath classes and it says what items are able to use. Let's go ahead and open this so it's much larger and you can see, okay? So we'll go back to that pirate and we'll take a look at what they can use. The pirate can use swords, guns, maces or hammers and daggers all right as well as medium armor now if we take a look at gun we want to see what else can be used by uh by what else guns can be used for okay rangers can use guns as i mentioned before thieves can use guns as i mentioned before and chemists can use guns as i mentioned before so you can go and look to see how many of all of those are available before you consider purchasing a gun because you're trying to get a clear picture of who your customers are how many of them exist okay so I can tell you specifically just from my market knowledge that guns are more saturated than you can expect okay and that's there's there's a number of factors that affect this like due, due to the amount of legendary snowball launchers that were 
minted a long time ago and that there's a number of other factors but you wouldn't know that without really really doing your market research so let's go back to monsters for instance because we know that there is a, a lot of monster uh, undead available okay there's 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 over a thousand we just checked okay so if we were to look at the undead they're actually in the monster class this is the old classification for them they've changed a little bit and now the dracos are a different class as well but the dracos as well as the monsters can use these weapons the axe the two-handed sword and the dagger they can also use shields and they also use medium armor okay so there is a significant number that can use all of these weapons now look let, let's look at what else so if we go to axes and two-handed swords for instance the knight can also use two-handed swords the warrior can also use two-handed swords the hawk knight can also use two-handed swords the samurai can also use two-handed swords and axes go even further warrior knight hawk knight squire and monsters so you have two-handed swords and axes are already extremely, extremely uh, available for customer base. That widens your customer base up. Now, if you take a look at some of the things that really, really affect that, you'll see that warriors can actually dual or dual wield axes, meaning that that's like another class having that, okay? So if we did a little bit of math, you would see that axes are probably a no-brainer right if you were to buy one item in hopes that it would get rented axe would probably be first followed by two-hander now two-handers are pretty strong right now so they're usually sought after when they can be used so if you did a little bit more market research you would find out that a two-hander is probably a better investment now are there a bunch of different kinds of two-handers? Of course, you need to know about what elements are best used and what kind of two-handers are best used because there's a lot of different factors, okay? Again, market research is the only thing that is gonna teach you this, but because of my market knowledge, I can tell you that Daedaos are one of the best kind of two-handed swords because they have a mana boost, which is very necessary to be able to use your skills in combat and they do really really good damage they're also available in every element and you can change their element if you got a hold of one that was cheap but a, a, a lower element okay there's a cost involved in that but just to say so if you did a little bit of market research and you learned that day dows are the best you could say to yourself i'm gonna shop for day dows okay now now that you know that you can move on to the buying channel okay and to see who's actually selling or buying these things you could do a quick analysis of what's going on in data let's just actually let's just go to the trade channel i'm going to hit Control f and type in data now i can see here that certain people are selling or buying these data okay there's a bunch of listings that you can look at and you can see want to buy legendary daedaos people are actively looking to buying these but we want to know about who's selling them in order to look at maybe investing in them or to see who's renting them out okay so this is just a, a little idea about how to figure out what's in demand and how to get it Let's take this down to a very small notch and say, and this is your first ever purchase and you want to be as low risk as possible. What can you do to build up your collection in order to get the money for one of these DAOs? Because they're kind of expensive. What you would want to do is you would want to start with the smallest purchase possible. Okay. Let's say you take a few games in Voxies and you end up getting some tokens. Now you want to use these tokens to buy. You can use the forge to upgrade your equipment, but what you need to do is start getting multiples of that. So there's either two ways to do this. You can choose a team that does not take the NFTs to the owner, that gives the NFTs to you, and play boxes until you get item drops. Or you can use your tokens to buy rare items 
and burn them in the forge to upgrade to epic and burn those epics to upgrade to legendary which is in high demand okay so I'll do a legendary video really, really soon where I burn a lot of rares to, I, I did one a little while back for giveaway, but next week I'm having one that shows me that I bought a bunch of rares. I upgraded them to epics by burning them and I upgraded them to legendaries with costs involved to give you an idea about how all that goes. But what we wanna do here is we've already made the decision that we, we can't afford a day dial by looking at what's available for sale if there's even any in existence, okay? So let's go to renting history and see if there's any rare items or what items are actually being rented regularly. Now, if you go to right here, if you go to marketplace, and you look at renting, okay, this will come up with what's available to rent now, but if you go to renting history, it'll show you what people have been renting to check the demand based on what you're about to buy. Again, nobody really rents out rares and there's only select epics that people rent out. So what you wanna do is you just have to buy rares for now or earn rares, okay? So let's go to the sales and we're going to go with lowest unit price. You can go buy lowest price as well and see what the minimum price is. But if you go to lowest unit price, you'll see that you can actually get them for a little bit cheaper, okay? now. There's a 4% market fee on everything that you do in the market. So what you wanna do is factor in that cost to make sure that you would be making voxel with the sale of an item, okay? Now, because the minimum right here is 18, you could buy this for 1650, okay? And sell these two for 18 a piece if you were to buy them out, okay? and all of these items would get sold. This would be a profit of 1.5 voxel times two, which is three, but 4% of that would be taken away from market fees for each of those sales, okay? So that's just to keep uh, give you an example, but you could get a little bit of profit from just buying and selling and meet floor price. That way, when the next investor comes in and needs some rare, uh, items to burn in the forge, they're just gonna be buying up floor prices, okay? So they're gonna be buying up all the 18, meaning that you would get a little bit under three voxel for buying and selling. That's what I'm talking about with risk. So let's take into example, you did that. You would need to complete that quite a few times in order to buy your first ones, okay? What you could do is buy and wait and just to see what the market would do or wait until they list for an even lower price and try to resell them later when the market uh, gets bigger. In the next video that I'll show you next week, I bought a ton of rares for 14 a piece and the market changed in only a few days and the, the floor now is 16.5. So if you would have bought all those rares for 14 and sold them for 18, you would have made four vo voxel per item, which is a pretty good profit, okay? So that on, on this type of price tag, I mean, you think about it, four voxel, four into 18, <laughs> if you spend in 14 and making 18 every time you do that, that's a pretty good return, guys. Most people on Wall Street don't make those type of returns. There's some risk involved. It could go to zero tomorrow, but it's just to give you an idea. If you watch this market every day, you can learn to realize that, okay? So when you have 10 rares, okay, you could burn them to get an epic. Now, this is where the fun starts. Epics can actually rent out. People do rent epics, not weapons, armor. Okay, every once in a while you can rent out an epic weapon, but again, legendary weapons are so plentiful right now that the prices have dropped considerably and people are able to afford these on less rare teams, okay? So let's go to epics. We'll just sort by epics and you'll see here that the minimum price to get into an epic is 120. Now, it doesn't take a genius to figure out if you bought 10 rares at 1650 and also spent the fee in the forge, which is 10 voxel tokens to get an epic item. If you did that, you'd be looking at basically uh, 165 voxel tokens 
well, 175 with the fee, and this one cost 120. So you'd have lost quite a bit of voxel if you would have burned all 10 rares that you bought for 1650 and got this pistol, okay? Because nobody wants this. N and not only that, but you can't rent this out. Nobody will rent this gun from you. And if they do, they'll only rent it for one voxel for like every 10 days or something like that. Again, market research will show you this. So there are some items that you can rent out and you'll know in the meta. For instance, this Doom Ward is 200 voxel. Now, it hasn't rented out yet. I mean, it hasn't been sold yet, but realistically, this is getting closer to the price tag of what you could buy. You could probably put in offers and get this a little bit lower, and then you start moving into other items that are really meta, like these gloves, for instance, okay? A lot of what determines whether something is meta is based on the availability of that item and the stats that it gives, okay? If you get, if you look onto this glove, for instance, you'll see that there is a health bonus of 20 and it grants dexterity okay so rangers and pirates use these type of gloves and they want them to be able to give them health and dexterity now naturally you want mana too and there are better gloves than this like ninja gloves for instance so if you but the ninja gloves doesn't give health so it really all depends on where you're at legendaries will give you all of it that's why they're more expensive okay and not all legendaries are created equal but it's just to say these gloves can be considered meta in other words you could rent these out over time for a profit now you have to kind of do research to figure it out but realistically from my experience i can tell you that you could probably average around two tokens per day with these gloves meaning that if you bought it for 250 you would need to rent it out 125 days to make your money back that's why i'm not really proposing that you buy epics okay what i'm proposing that you do is that you buy rares as low as you can and burn them in the forge to get epics okay and if an epic is bad don't re-roll it hold it don't try to sell it because you're gonna lose money okay don't panic sell over time use all of these rares to accumulate okay now again if you're looking at if you're playing voxies actively and you bought a little bit of rares from your earnings just keep doing that. Take a take a little portion of your earnings and buy a rare with it. I don't know, a rare a week, a rare a day, whatever the case may be, until you start getting these epics. Now, it takes 100 rare items to make a legendary, okay? It's not small. It also takes a lot of fees in between that, okay? So it takes every 10 rares, it costs 10, to make into a, a, an epic. Every 10 epics, it costs 100 to make into a legendary. And if you get a trash legendary, you're not gonna be able to resell it or rent it out. You're gonna have to re-roll it. You can resell it, but you're gonna lose money. And I can show you that. If we go to legendary, doing the math here, you'll see that if you got this katana right here, this has been on the market for a long time. It's only 800 voxels. <laughs> okay and it still hasn't been bought <laughs> so right now one of the reasons that this katana is a legendary weapon that hasn't been bought is there's only two classes that can use katanas ninjas and samurai samurai is a very rare class to begin with ninjas i don't know how many there are probably if uh, probably about 500 but you're looking at between six and seven hundred total classes that can use katanas now so you're looking at a bunch of different types of katanas on the market like you could see an, another one here hail tongue is 950 you could probably see a lot more if you dug here's another one 2000 like and, and another one this one's listed for 15,000 i don't know what's up with that but just to say there are a number of katanas already on the market is because katanas are very very saturated okay so ideally if you do get a katana that's perfect it's going to be the right element and the right katana 
okay which is pretty much only these but lightning <laughs> so this is the worst element as well this is poison element meaning that if you hit uh, uh, an undead with it, it will heal them. So nobody wants this katana, all right? So if you minted this katana by burning all of these items, spending all of this money, uh, you would end up with losing a lot if you tried to sell this because you could not rent it out, okay? Well, you could, but it, would be, it, it wouldn't be nearly as much. So you would have to spend voxel tokens to re-roll this. In other words, it would be changing your risk up, all right? So what you wanna do is follow the market look for rares that are cheap in price and either flip them to earn by bringing them back to the floor price or accumulating them over time and turning them into epics turning them into legendaries and re-rolling those legendaries until you get the right legendary that you can rent out okay or until you get a meta epic which is the final chapter of what I want to suggest to you in order to earn, okay? I know I took a long time getting to this point, but just hear me out. Once you get an epic, okay, you can you can check out the market to see whether or not it rents out. And if you go to renting history, okay, this is looked at by marketplace and renting history. You click this and it's going to bring you to a list of rentals everything that's been renting on the market now let's say for instance this this is a pirate bandana this rented out for six days at 14 voxel okay that's pretty good that's an average of more than two per day okay you can look at pretty much anything in this great tool as well which is the um the will it rent okay click on will it rent and let's say you generated that headband okay pirate and you can look at it right here you can scroll down and see pirate hat okay you click the pirate hat and you can see all of the averages of what people are paying for this and when they paid for it okay so on wednesday the 20th which was five days ago this was rented out for seven days at 12 tokens for seven days for an average of 1.71 now 1.71 is not a lot but if we take a look at these this this sales history and see that we can buy rares for 16.5 a piece if we take the calculator here and take 16.5 and what was the other uh what was the amount um 1.71 divided by 1.71 you'll see that it would take us 9.64 days to eliminate the risk of buying that okay 1.6 9.64 days before we earned 16.5 to buy another rare okay let that sink in for a minute so you took let's say your earnings and you bought one rare a week for 16.5 weeks you would have 10 rares you spend 10 more voxel which is one more week in order to get a an epic item and you got this okay now a lot of people might sell it don't do that okay because you can literally generate a rare another rare to buy every 9.65 days okay so every 10 days you can buy another rare that means in 100 days you can buy enough rares to create into another epic this does take a while okay this does take a while but once you start compounding it goes a lot faster okay so after 10 weeks Okay, after a few months, you have two epics, all right? And let's say you got a, a, a bad epic and you can't earn from that, okay? You'd have to sit there for another one, okay? <laughs> You'd have to sit here for ten, another 10 weeks. So this can take a long process. But once you start generating more rares, you can also play the market and do what I said before. You can wait until they're 14 and sell them when they become 18 again. And you can flip flop like this back and forth. But by starting to compound, 
you get to the point to where you have a lot of stuff okay as you can see from me i have a lot of stuff if i go to loans and go to earnings and i put in my wallet address you will see that over time i've been able to accumulate a lot a lot of voxel okay and it's because i reinvest what i have okay this accelerates drastically after a little while for instance i have some teams that i send out i send bundles out all the time i have regular customers that come to me for the same rentals that they just renew and i have almost a guaranteed amount of voxel that i can look forward to every single month from scholarships from rentals all sorts of things at any given time if i look at my loans and what i have out i have a ton of stuff some stuff doesn't rent sometimes you just have to make changes i have an uncommon samurai with a legendary weapon right here that i'm renting out for 89 voxel a week the other re the, uh, I've been able to rent it pretty easily the last few months. Somebody might contact me with it and say, hey, if I, if you got some boots, I'll rent it out for you from 99, okay? So sometimes they'll negotiate with you, but some of these items take a little bit longer to rent. Some of them, they don't take that long to rent. This stayed on the market for five or six days. Look, six days, this item was on the market. This legendary spear that I bought, that I rent that I used to rent out for like 10 or 15 a day. Now it's only renting out for a little bit. And it stayed on the market for six days before it was able to rent out. But once it does, I generate 55 tokens. All right. Minus the market fees. Okay. But I made 55 tokens. That's like three rares, y'all. That's like three rares. So when you think about it in terms of that, it really, really starts to escalate. Now, if I took all of my my daily averages right now, I'm gonna add them all up and tell you what it is. All right, so after calculating my daily earnings based on what I have rented out right now that's listed, I have 159 tokens per day, okay? Now, if we took that and divided that by 16.5, that is 9.67. That's how many days, that's how many rares I can get per day. That's how many rares I can buy per day, okay? Now, if I buy 9.67 rares per day, that means I can get almost one epic every day. Let's just say one epic every day and a half with the fees considered, okay? That means I can get two epics every three days all right five times that is every 15 days i could be getting 10 epics meaning a legendary every two weeks uh, let's say every 15 days okay just to give it for a fee okay the the fees to mint that so realistically speaking i can get two legendaries a month all right now if the average legendary after fees, after renting it out or re-rolls and all of this stuff, generates me about five voxel tokens per day, <laughs> I can amplify these earnings by a lot. Would you agree? That's the strategy. You have to start off small, but after a little while, this can snowball, guys. This can snowball out of control to where you can spend more time on the market looking for great deals and buying them up, trading with other players. Of course, in a safe fashion, you make sure you use the market so that you don't get scammed or anything. But just to say, you can look for deals. You can look for these epics that you can buy from other players that you can rent out immediately to start generating that income. You could buy rares and forge your own epics. You can even buy legendary off the floor price like that katana we looked at earlier okay and you can re-roll those in the forge now i'm going to give you a video next week about all of these different scenarios i'm gonna buy a bunch of rares i'm gonna use them to create epics i'm gonna use those epics to create legendaries and i'm gonna re-roll some of those legendaries into items that can either be sold or rented to and you can see how this process works i know this was a long-winded video and it's pretty high level but i hope you got some value from it if you have any questions 
make sure to leave them in the comments i'll do my best to answer thanks so much for watching as always this is Ojin signing off and we'll see you next time